zero wind. It's gonna be a hot day. Beautiful out here though. Such a calm morning. It's raining. It's the... raining today, but we're making the best of it. I'm melting we're butter. Gonna, we're gonna eat a lot of butter. <laughs> Because that's what we're going to do. I think Kaz is going to make her famous Swedish plug cock. And it's your last day, Jade. It's raining on your last day. I know. Maybe yeah. we can just go for a rainy dingy cruise. We're going to go for a rainy rip. Rainy rip? Rainy rip? Well, oh. Late morning showers have become a part of our daily routine on Delos. Panama has a tropical climate with temperatures hovering right around 80 degrees. And unlike the four seasons that many of us are used to, here, there are only two. First off, there's the wet and rainy season. And secondly, the slightly less wet, but still very, very rainy season. And we were just coming in to the wettest part of the year. It could be raining for the whole day or possibly for just an hour. So we weren't gonna waste Jade's last day waiting around for good weather. What started off as a mellow cruise just to get out of the house would end up taking us to a truly wild place that would completely blow our minds. One, two, three. Wow! Oh, careful there. Those are amazingly sharp knives. This video is sponsored by Kamakoto Knives. Kamakoto is crafted of Japanese steel using techniques that have been honed and perfected by generations of knife smiths. Kamakoto Knives use a single bevel edge. They're wickedly sharp and perfect for slicing super thin fish and meats. I went fishing yesterday and uh, caught a blackfin tuna and we're going to try out our amazing new Kamakoto knives to do some nigiri and sashimi for dinner tonight. Oh, I don't even really have to push, it just goes mm. right through it. I'm really impressed with these knives, like it is actually a lot of fun to cut stuff like this. If you're looking for a world-class knife for yourself or as a holiday gift, head on over to kamikoto.com forward slash delos. Not only will you be supporting Delos videos, but you'll also get an extra $50 off by entering the code DELOS at checkout. Plus, Kamakoto has a lifetime guarantee, so they really stand behind their products. The whole gang was ready to head out, and the rain had even cleared up. But first, we needed to put some fuel in Maggie, and luckily, we had Taylor on the case. I don't need no man. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm getting gold today, baby! I'm getting gold! <laughs> okay, just gotta breathe. <laughs> Dutch! Can I, can, I, can, I, can I help you please? Can I... Now if I can't get it, it's gonna be like really embarrassing. Oh. Just don't, I couldn't get that one little grip. You might need a man in your life sometimes. Oh, if you could see this, she's never. actually flipping me off. Nope, can never. We get a, can we get a recap? Mm -mm. Please a little. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you guys ready to go for a little rip? Yeah. It stopped raining. That's nice. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, you ready for a high speed maneuver? Brian, 
going to that one out there. How far is it? Four miles? <laughs> Nobody knows. Delos was anchored off the northwest corner of mainland Panama in the Bocas del Toro archipelago. After departing from Starfish Beach and zipping through the point at the end of the island, we would travel just two and a half miles to reach the draw droppingly beautiful Isla Pajeros, also known as Bird Island. Finding places like these feels like you're getting transported to a whole other time and space. And as we approached the island, which was literally swarming with exotic birds, it felt like there should be dinosaurs roaming around in this truly wild speck of land out in the middle of the ocean. The GoPro doesn't really do it justice. Oh! Whoa. Wow! Wow, this is insane. It looks like something out of Jurassic Park. Whoa. This is so awesome. I'm waiting for the pterodactyls oh, to fly out. Oh, you wake up and we're somewhere weird, huh? Uh -huh. We're at Bird Island and you're not happy about it, huh? What do you think, Cass? This is great. You guys want to go swimming? Yeah. I'm going to go swimming. Drop them hook. Drop them. Pika, pika. <laughs> Hi, are you going to come in? Whoa. Wow! Wow, you're swimming to Bird Island. Wow! <laughs> the places you've swam, though. Wow! Wow! The island is one of the most rugged and beautiful places we've seen in the entire Caribbean, but it's also incredibly special because of the diversity and sheer number of birds that nest here. Its biggest claim to fame in the birdwatching world is that it's the only known Panamanian nesting site of the red-billed tropic bird, the largest and most rare species of tropic bird found in Panama. But it's also home to brown boobies, frigates, brown pelicans, and several different species of gulls and terns. As we climbed over the jagged rocks with waves crashing all around us, and a canopy of palm trees and swarming birds overhead, we couldn't help but feel that we'd stumbled upon a truly special place. You're like some jungle explorer woman. There's some really cool tidal pools over there. So many crabs. Wow. Yeah. There's also some really cool ones on the other side too. Yeah. And look at the baby nugs. She's going native in the sand. <laughs> what are you doing, child? <laughs> Mommy's favorite thing, sand. All over you. Pretty spectacular, right? A bird just flew over your head. Oh, this place is fantastic. I'm so glad that we, we didn't even plan on coming out here. We we're just going this way and then we we're like, well, it's not that far. I bet you we can make it. And then we saw it and here we are and it is freaking cool. I got him. <laughs> Nugget, you have so many friends. Look at the baby. She hates this. Do you hate it here? Socks, huh, Nugget? She's not happy. You're not a happy baby, are you? A little lunch spot here, yeah. right on the beach. It's beautiful. You can have some drinks, a couple beers, mm -hmm. and a late Shade. lunch. It's Jade's last day. I it's know. really sad. I feel so sad that she's leaving. But she's such a good crew. Yeah. Worked out really well, didn't it? It worked out so well. I love this crew. We had such the a good crew. The crew is awesome. The crew. <laughs> mm. 
another successful day mission. Yay. Cheers, cheers. It's a really good pina colada. Mm -hmm. I like. Look at how happy that is. Mm -hmm. It's got alcohol and it's sweet. I love it. Not a bad last day, huh? <laughs> What are you doing? What'd you find, Kaza? Wow, look at that! Yeah. It looks cool in your phone. <laughs> I know. It really is Starfish Beach, isn't it? It is. Isn't it? It's not and a then joke. The boats, like, look how beautiful they are over there. Oh, nice. Starfish Beach, Nugget. Get into the little. Get over here. Get over here by us. Did you find a starfish, Sierra? Look, it's like right underneath you. Spending time with friends and family, having a few laughs, discovering new to us places, and generally just kicking back as the sun sets on yet another day is what it's all about to me. And seeing Sierra absolutely come alive exploring right alongside us just fills our hearts with joy. We don't really want to do Cheers! Cheers! Wait, wait. Cheers. Cheers. It's like when people had kids and they would run the farm. Yeah. We'll just have kids so they can run the YouTube channel yeah. and we'll be out. Oh, Sierra. You have no idea what you started right here. Decided to check out this boat. It's washed up on the shore. See if it's something interesting. Yeah. Wrecks are always cool though. Looks like the hole's in pretty good shape though. Motor's gone, right? Everything's I stripped. On it and she's good. Little, little 15? Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I don't actually know what I'm doing. Well, it's a boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kinda. It's, a, it's a catch. It's coming along. Mm -hmm. I recognize that configuration. Keel. Mm -hmm. It's a big pointy fella. You guys have a different. Yours is like a big ball fella. Exactly like that. Honestly, I thought you were gonna draw something totally different. Mm, something more inappropriate. Do you know what? Do you know what I thought you were gonna draw? <laughs> a, a, a penis. <laughs> a giant, a humongous giant penis. sand. Well, but you it surprised was on my me. Mind. You surprised. I did something me. a little better, <laughs> a little more genuine. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> So we're just on the beach looking at starfish and it's like slops around and it's super exciting. <laughs> we're this on is, the hunt. This is like the <laughs> mis mystical like animal of this area. The Panamanian animal. Yeah. Like, if you come here you gotta see a sloth. And, and we've been really like trying to see them. We can check that off the list. There is a slot right there. Oh my god! It's what? Well, he's curled into a little ball and fell asleep. Well, I've been standing here for about 30 minutes and the sloth still hasn't <laughs> moved. <laughs> kind of waiting for some kind of sign of uh, that it's alive. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Oh my god, I can see his face! <laughs> oh, he just looked up and he was like, hmm, really sleepily. And then I filmed him for about a few seconds and then he fell back asleep again, it looks like. <laughs> <gasps> wow, he's climbing upside down! I know. Grace, you gotta see this! Yeah. Oh, look at him go! Oh. This is like the animal you wanted to see the most. <laughs> the sloth. <laughs> the sloth. You've been talking about sloths since you got here. It's like my spirit animal because they're so slow and like, I don't know, they're just so cool. They are a little smelly. You smell pretty good. <laughs> oh, come here, little slothy.
This beach is amazing. I love this anchorage. It's so calm and the focus is definitely growing on me. I wasn't too sure when we first arrived. I felt like, I don't know, I think I felt a little bit overwhelmed coming here from the passage and it was so, I don't know, it just felt like a lot and I felt kind of ready to go home to Sweden. Just getting that push and like actually moving around a bit, I'm starting to really fall in love with this place. Having the crew here too was very, very special. They were super nice girls and they got us here and I feel very, very, very grateful for having them in our lives and I love those girls, they're amazing. I also just want to take this time to say a huge thank you to all our amazing patrons out there. You are the ones that make this possible and these videos wouldn't be out here unless you did your contributions. So I just want to say thank you so much. And yeah, if you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com forward slash svdelos and you'll have a lot of cool little perks for you. We do live streams there that are only for you and you get to see the videos one week before everybody else. Thank you for taking the time and we love you all. Okay, bye bye. Good job, Sierra. Nugget's driving. Look at Nugget's is driving with her foot. <laughs> Come driving in fun. Hey, no. That's it. That's an advanced, advanced maneuver. maneuver. <laughs>It's gonna be a long hug. Anytime you're near QS, let us know. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I gotta be. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And your awesome crew. And you always have a bunk on Delos. Thank you. I'll stay with you it's anytime. Nice to be part of the tribe. So we'll see you when we see you. Never goodbye as always we see you when we see you. I love that. Well thank you guys for having me. You're very welcome. Experience. Up next on Delos, we sail Delos to yet another drop-dead gorgeous piece of paradise. We take Maggie in search of nothing in particular and end up discovering an entire beach just around the corner all to ourselves. And Mother Nature dazzles us with an incredible show. Did you just poop? Mm, yeah. That's so beautiful. Wow. 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 Ah. Whoa. Ah. 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 Oh, you can smell the bird shit. Oh. <laughs> right in there. <laughs> it's an oddly shaped tip, but it'll pass. So dirty. What's that? Uh, Swedish belly. Uh.